All right, welcome back. It's the day of the festival. I'm not happy with this. Of all days, to, of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the events should be nearing nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond, thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I promise I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend more time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. You don't know fucking Monica. She probably put some dark, evil shit in Sayori's head. Fuck you! Kiribu, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the, in the classroom. I am... She... I, there's something going on here. I couldn't spend time with Monica ever. They must be the ones she's prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I would have... I found a random poem online. Nope. There's just no music. This is very dark. A random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think on this day, the important one should try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember that Sayori told me yesterday. I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Exactly. I only say said it because it's the only way I'm used to thinking. Fuck you, Monica. But maybe I should have gone and wake, gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you take a little bit a little bit. You should take a little bit responsibility for her. <sighs> Dyslexia will conquer. I mean, especially after you exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging in this hanging this morning, did you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. Wee woo wee woo But I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like a bad guy here. Because you kind of are. But sometimes it takes being a bad guy to be honest and open. You gotta remember that. The most important thing is to be honest with yourself. But I don't want to make people kill themselves. I don't want people to hurt themselves. I don't want people to be depressed. I don't want people to be sad. But that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. That makes me really seem like the bad guy here, because you fucking are. Deal with it. But I'm the one who ne knows what's best for her, right? No, you don't! The more you say that... She knows what's best for her. And what she feels is best for her is you. You don't know what's best for her, you idiot. You moron. There's no way to make it right. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Neither do you, you dumb fuck! Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. We will... We will... Uh, Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a little chill down my spine after hearing that. You should have been feeling chills down the spine, apparently, for a while. Hey, do you want to check out that pamphlet? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during their performance. What's this? 
I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I hadn't read before. It's depressing as shit. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. And I have to say this over a hundred times. You get it. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just keeps moving. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Caribou? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. The poem feels completely different from everybody else's Sayori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so. Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even if the simplest gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. No, it's not! And what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house, knock on the door. I don't expect an answer. And she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? There's no music. Guys, please. Please, 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 game. Don't be... Don't. Don't. Don't do this. It's so fucking unfair for you to do this. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all this time. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really don't didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of like a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. <laughs> Can't play. Ah! Oh shit! We shit! this this is messed up I knew it too I fucking knew it what the hell you see it? How are you how are you that baffled? How are you that fucking stupid? No! This guy is so fucking idiotic. You're s- 
They're both fucking stupid. He's stupid for the way he reacted to the situation. He, she's stupid for fucking doing it. How could I be so helpless? It's so ir There's no way you could have known how her she felt. What did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? There's really no answers in this situation, is there? It's just so dark and depressing. She just killed herself. Can't believe this. Turning down her confession, that has to be what pushed her over the edge. Yep. It was. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ear. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? That's very fucking true. I don't know what the game wants from me! <laughs> this is my fault. My swarming thoughts kept telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked with her to school and gave her what I think she wanted out of the relationship, then I could have prevented this. I could have prevented this. I screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. There's something... This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and it was... And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But it couldn't... I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 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 What is this? Huh? Whoa! I want to school for myself! I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content by getting my on the average while spending my free time. She's gone from the game! Fuck this game. This game is so mean. That's horrible. It's fucking real life though, I guess. But why would they restart me over if that's how they say it, huh? That makes no sense. Stupid. The school day is as ordinary and it's over before I know it. After I pack my bags, it's, oh, this is so fucked up. Clubs. There really aren't anything of interest besides most of them to the man you deal with. Um, what is going on? I've read this before. You're inviting me to a larger club. Yep, yep, yep. Looking for new members, you bitch. You, you evil bitch. I get it. She's here to torture me. I'm saying yes to join this stupid club. <sighs> I'm more important. That's what they fucking say. And that's the days of my soul. My soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Monica is an evil demon. 
Mind cup full of energy swings open. What the fuck? Uh, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. Is she gonna kill all, every single one of these girls and then I'm last or some shit? I have to load that shit back up. I'm gonna have to load that shit back up, but we have to continue on with this because what's going on here? So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sad attitude is. Yeah, I know. Seen this before. They're just replacing the text. And there's no. I can't do this. I can't do this again. this they tell us the same things over and over again there's no way I'm reading all this again and I decided to join the club whoa I'm sick to my stomach, dude. I'm sick to my stomach. This is so fucking messed up. She was so nice. Why'd I have to be that? Why'd I have to? Why didn't think this game was gonna be normal? It was so normal until then. Why'd I think it was gonna be normal? Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. They're trying to fucking scare me. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Is that the poem? Okay, so this is where cuts happen. There's gonna be cuts, guys. I'm gonna get us to the spots. I'm gonna get us to the spots. And this will maybe last only maybe a few more episodes because I need to do an episode where I load that shit back up and see if I could possibly save her. Because if I can do that, I'm going to because that's, that's uncool. So fucked up. Um, all right, well. Is she going to kill herself? What the fuck, man? Alright, well, here we go. I'll be back in a little bit. Fuck! You, you just missed it! There was some dark shit that just happened. It was like, brrrr, on the screen. So you can't miss a thing. I'm going to skip through most of this shit. Because you've seen it before, but... There's some evil shit going on here. I gotta figure it out. The devil Monica in disguise. Is the music off? Uh, <laughs> hello? It feels off. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh shit! He deserves any slack. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> it's off! No! She's the vice president now. Yay! How's she being so eyes nearly so cute? Ha ha ha. Okay. We've seen this before. Oh! Manga. I gotta be careful with these. Do you know anyway? Let's see. There he is. You don't like me skipping, I guess. Oh God! I'm. I really just don't know how to fucking feel. This is so sickening. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. They're reading between the lines. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew that her dad was beating her or something. This is fucked up. This whole entire game is messed up. Uh-huh. Yeah. This game fools you. This game fools you into a, a safe bubble, then it pops it with the harsh, the harsh tip of reality. You gotta admire it a little bit because of that. Because it's reality. Dark things happen, but also there are really beautiful things that can happen in this world. You just gotta be careful with their word choices, and you gotta be careful how you treat other people. Because you never know what's going on in someone else's life. You never know what's going on in someone else's world. What What's going on with them. You can't just be completely insensitive to it the entire time. You're only going to get like the cut version of this. Because we've already seen most of this. No, it's the same as before. So I've already figured out like three of them because I know Monica's evil as shit. We know that she was depressed. Um, her dad beats her fucking son of a... Dad beats the other one. What's her deal? Here we go with this again. I don't fucking care. Are you trying to make the player place in this game playing this game fucking psychotic? Uh... Oh! Uh... The fuck? Ah! <laughs> Monica, you bitch! care of you. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Uh, sorry about that. It really shouldn't have gotten you involved. It's probably better for us to stay outside of this. We'll go back inside when they're done yelling. Uh, some president I am, right? I can't even convince, confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the room. She quickly ran, runs away. Oh dear. It looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. 
This is new. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Here, boo. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Ria looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please take... Let me take responsibility today. Sounds kind of like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Caribou. It would just be too embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm not causing... So I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you... festival it's a fucking it's a facade it's a facade it's it's an imaginary it's poofy it's kittens kitty <laughs> dark disaster puppy jump forgive <laughs> graveyard climax that's fucking boop candy <laughs> marshmallow Valentine, lollipop, sparkle, excitement, intellectual hair, sunny, twirl, melody. <laughs> uh, oh! Hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's your expression, but the weight of yesterday is growing. Okay, now she's here. Uh, Natsuki is reading a manga on a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner. About yesterday, I I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And sometime, something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please, don't think we are usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you considered apologizing. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it's our first time sharing poems, but whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. Alright, cool. And that's anything indifferent here? She's late. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So. What? What is going on? So she doesn't remember the screaming fat that they had yesterday. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it's nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Ah! Uh... the fuck is with this chick? <laughs> this is the fuck? Why am I so curious? I should have stopped right at the, the right at the scene, the scene of the crime. <laughs> uh. Fuck you! Stop smiling at me. 
You evil son of a bitch. I know that you made her kill herself. If the music wasn't, like, changing and shit, I would... I would literally change this entire music to some real dark, depressing shit real quick. Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. What? What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about a religious camp that has turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. This music really is starting to fucking make me go insane. But the facilities get even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and inflicting them to... Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. You're really into this dark religious book. Okay. She does like horror shit, so... The book, I mean. And then not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You already make it, made it sound like it was a, going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of this sort of thing, Caribou? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Ah, uh, then suddenly... Oh, my Jesus. I don't even care about the dark shit. I don't even care. Oh! Let me just get the book. <laughs> give me the fucking book. <laughs> I want to... Give me the book! <laughs> Please, give me the book. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem... Get, just give me... I'm, I'm sorry. What? What do you want from me? It's just something I'm not very... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, evil. Evil. So sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of your body. It's replacing the... Oh, okay, that's what it's doing. It's telling you what's really fucking going on. I haven't even cut this episode yet. That's how, like, I'm... That's how stunned I am. That's how stunned I am. Caribou, did something happen just now? Eh, uh, I have no idea. You already was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Why is it me doing things to them? You're the one putting this dark, evil shit in her head, you Monica bitch! This music is legitimately gonna make me go crazy. I've never heard a tune that has turned from pleasant to mind-numbingly psychotic so quickly. Suki, I was trying to spend time with you, but there's not many words left. Huh? How am I supposed to understand this, weirdo? Caribou, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. That should be, that should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. <laughs> oh no! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay. You don't hate me, Caribou, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to go home crying? 
The club is the only place I feel safe. Is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to me. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Can't even share with Yuri right now. All I have is Monica. <laughs> this, is, this fucking game. Uh, why? Why do they have to wait this long? Why do they have to make character? De why do they have to put character development into it? That way, I could be just like, ah, fuck it. They're, these characters sucked anyway. These characters are actually good. Why? Monica, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Monica. <laughs> leave me alone. I don't, want to, I don't want to be having this conversation right now, please. I'm back! <laughs> Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing problems with each other. Eh. Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Save me. The colors, they won't bright. Beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, blue, green. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing. Like playing a chalkboard on a tr turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Endless poem of meaningless. Fucking, I knew that nice talk was weird. Yeah, it's evil as shit, too. <laughs> Monica's running tip of the day. I did save. I did save. We're gonna go back to that. Tell me you can hear anything. Anything. Okay. There's no music again. Is she just a pervert? What's going on? Ah! Yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time in... I hope you're getting some sort of sick enjoyment, whoever created this game. I hope you enjoy this shit. Wow, I just thought that was my screen too. What the fuck? This is my mouse. Oh no! No, not sorry. That was say. I couldn't recommend this for someone who's depressed. If you are severely depressed, you have anxiety. You just don't play this game. This is this is fucking me up, and I've gotten over that for the most part. I'm kind of... This is starting to make me feel all sorts of weird thoughts, and shit's messed up. I was enjoying it, too. What the hell? 
<sighs> yeah, I know, I know, it's so great and wonderful and beautiful. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even turned until Caribou joined. As for me, I just like it, like, like it better than I do at home because your dad beats you. What do you mean? What the fuck is this? I'm sure you're in care, but want to get more members. No, I don't. I, I'm. I, I just want this to be over. What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak with, for everyone in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place to feel like nice. A place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being in bad for me? There aren't, there aren't many places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Caribou. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki packed up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki. Oh, jeez. Of course, what does it make you miss the most? I'm out of, I'm out of drink. Okay! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore responsibility. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Okay. All these chicks must be... <laughs> the only one that's normal so far is Sayori. And even then... Her dad beats her. Come on, dude. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision the right for the club. But what about you, Caribou? What do you want to get out of this club? I don't know! Monica, stop talking! Please, no! It's important to me as a president that I get what I want from him. <laughs> This is going to be a longer episode, man. I can't just stop. Yeah, this is going to be a longer episode. Sorry, guys. I know you weren't expecting something this long, but here we go. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica. Foo. Things have been a little bit hectic lately, haven't they? Caribou, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know, I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know, freaky. Uh, sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Is this game going in that direction where every all three of those girls are actually dead? 
And she's some sort of crypt keeper, and I'm dead! What's going on? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, you've hardly gotten the time to spend any time together. Huh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you about. Things I know you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No. Is everyone dead? What is going on? I'm starting to think Monica isn't as dem What is going on? I gotta stop this episode because it is really long and I don't want to give you too much too long of an episode. It's already long enough. So stay tuned because I'm, I'm today is the day where I, I I figure out everything that we can do and see if we can save the see what changes when we try and save Sayori at the beginning. Thank you guys for watching and peace off.